not really a story but an experience. So recently I hang out with my other friends who are doing internet marketing as well, running internet marketing business and also they are trainers, speakers and so forth, right? We, we were hanging out together uh, and we have normal catch up and we were discussing about business uh, projects and so on. So what are my friend? Uh, I was asking him, so you know what what you're doing right now? So he was sharing with me so many things that he's doing, so many exciting stuff from software to the seminar business to uh, startups and and so many things uh, going on. Amazing stuff, very impressive, very impressive uh, portfolio, right? So after he shared with me all the all his projects, which you know I wanted to know, that's why I I asked what he is doing, right? And well, ask me, so what are you currently doing, right? So, um, it says n- nothing much. I only do three things, right? I only do, so what are the three things that you do? I only do my ClickBank business, which is my digital e-commerce business where I use ClickBank and also I sell to the local market. I do my passive wealth for Juness and then I launch my affiliates.com.my. Just three little things. And that's it, right? And there's nothing sexy about it. There's, there's nothing big. It's just three things. He was like, you know, are you sure like you only do like, like three things? He says, yeah, that's, that's about it. And, and I'm, I'm busy enough with just three things and running my life, right? So, and I also realized that, that my friends sometimes get overwhelmed and he can't get things done. Because the fact is that he has so many things running on. And, and you know, I run the operation called, uh, Operation Zero Employees where I have no employees. In fact, my product launch, I only have three people running the whole, uh, product launch. If you haven't been taking action because you're overwhelmed and so on, right? I just want you to know that everyone is also overwhelmed. Everyone have a lot of things to juggle and so on. But you have to be a master of your own so call your own time of what are things that you want to prioritize. Like my mentor, uh, Robert G. Allen, once teach me, teach everybody, basically I learned from his, uh, his, his formula. There are only three projects, right? In your life, there's only three projects. And I've been following that rules since then. Now, I have a lot of things going on, but if I really sit down and I write down, like, you know, what are the things that, are the three key projects, like the three key priority. Now, I'm, I'm not referring to, you know, family, life, and um, food or whatever it is, but I'm just referring to business, right? those activities that generate income for you. What are those three? So I have like huge lists, like lots of things that I want to do, man. I mean, if you see my list, it will, it will be crazy. Then I just tick, tick off, tick off, tick off, tick off, and it boils down to the three key important ones and like what I've shared with you I'm very focused with my digital e-commerce business where I use ClickBank and also I sell to the local market um, and I'm very focused with my passive wealth slash genes business that I've been building for f- several years right now and it's been cons- generating consistent income for me and helping thousands of people and then I wanted to do fleece.com.my to help all Malaysians to be able to sell digitally, whether as a merchant or as affiliates, right? So there are only three things. So what I want you to do in today's lesson to kick off today's training is that you got to know how to prioritize what are your three key projects in that sense. Now, if you realize my three key projects, right, which one is priority? There's no real priority because three of them are key projects. Three of them are as, as important as it is because three of those are my priorities. So uh, as I was saying this, if it's your priority, don't you think that it requires much more attention than say your job? Now by then you'll be saying to me, but Patrick, how could that, how could that be true? How could that be logical? Because my job already eats up eight hours of my day or running my day-to-day operation job has already uh, taken up eight hours of my day. You are absolutely right, right? This is why you got to listen to this Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary V, they call him, right? 
if you have a job and it's eating up your eight hours, you got to hustle. You got to hustle through, my friend. You have no other option. You have to hustle. You have to find ways to find more time in, in your daily. So if you can chop off your eight hours in your job, where can you find more hours in your day? Do you understand that why everything is so messed up? Do you understand why you're not seeing results that you're supposed to? Because things that is not your priority is getting eight hours of your day and things that is your priority is getting, well, half an hour or sometimes zero per day. It doesn't make sense at all. So you have to hustle and find ways to find more time. Sacrifices need to be made. There's no other option to go around that if you are stuck with the job, right? Uh, If you have a business, then you have to adjust it.